This next song, well, how many people here were born in, in the 1980s? <laughs> I'm so afraid to ask this question um, sometimes because sometimes a lot of the audience doesn't put up their hands and it's not because they were born in the 70s, it's because they were born in the 90s. And I, I look out and I end up feeling very scared and horrified. But um, anyways, I wrote this song, uh, I did not write this song in the 80s because I was born in the 80s, but um, when I wrote this song, I was really going through an 80s phase where I was um, reinvestigating music um, that my parents had listened to, but also music that my parents had been too stoned on hash to listen to. And it um, wasn't really their scene, you know? And so, anyways, I went back and I started like, investigating and listening to um, things that I had never listened to before. And I, uh, I also went through a strange, contradictory dressing phase where I would wear a lot of puffy vests. <laughs> And so, although I listened to music from the 80s, I sort of really dressed like I was um, a time traveler from 1994. <laughs> and I'm sad that I went through that phase when so many people had cameras um, turned at me because um, when you Google us, some of those photos are the first ones to pop up and it makes me feel upset. <laughs> and my goal in life is to make friends with people who own Google so that I can ask them to remove all the ugly photos of me in a country that's time traveling. 